We're back with the author of Countdown, Bin Laden, host of Fox News Sunday, Chris Wallace. Chris. Uh, you've interviewed key players. I've got, uh, you know, a nice visual aid here. These are, you've interviewed many of the people in this famous photo of the night that they got bin Laden. Uh, Secretary Clinton, Secretary of Defense Gates, uh, CIA Director Panetta, Admiral McRaven, who was in charge of the actual uh, attack, but is, is not in this photograph. No, he's in Jalalabad, Afghanistan. And SEAL Team 6 members. W what did you learn that surprised you that you didn't know? Because so much has been written about this. I think two things most of all. First of all, I talked, the man who killed bin Laden was a Navy SEAL, SEAL Team 6, Rob O'Neill. And he's the one who went up to the third floor, goes into the room, bin Laden takes one of his three wives who were in the house, that is an interesting relationship right there, holds her in front of him, and he hit, shoots him three times in the head. I said to him, how dangerous did you think this mission was? He said, one way ticket. I said, what do you mean? A suicide mission. There is no way if bin Laden is in that compound that it isn't booby-trapped. As soon as we get there, we're all going to get blown up. If it does, that doesn't happen, by the time we go up into this three-story villa where bin Laden, if he's there, uh, is up on the third floor, he'll have bodyguards. They'll come at us and attack us. We may get bin Laden, but we aren't getting back home. That was the, the one thing. The second thing is that when Obama makes the decision on Friday, April 29th, it is no more than a 50-50 proposition that bin Laden is even there. Well, that was 10 years ago. Right. Okay, so that's 2011, right. Right. in the spring of 2011. It's 10 years before uh, the Trump administration makes the agreement with the Taliban, and then the Biden administration follows up on that and pulls us out of Afghanistan. What happens now? I know you're not in the State Department or the administration, but how... What will determine the U.S. relationship with the Taliban now? Because they've, they've put in people there that are on the FBI's most wanted No, that's list. right. One of the guys who I think is the head of security has mm -hmm. a $10 million bounty from the State Department. So there's all this talk about... Do you, you invite know, him to a state dinner and just lock the door when he comes in? <laughs> well, you certainly don't bring out the good silver. There's no question yes. about that. Uh, I, you know, I think we're not going to have a, a great working relationship, but we kind of need them because we've got at least 100 Americans still there. We've got tens of thousands of Afghan allies, the drivers, the, the translators, the cooks who stood up for us and are now their lives are in risk. So I think it'll be a kind of, are you going to come through or not? I don't think anybody in Washington trusts them, and I don't think they're especially optimistic about this. But if so they, we, we if they play ball... Enemy. Pardon? We do have a con common enemy, which is ISIS. Taliban hates ISIS. Right. And ISIS just executed that attack against uh, the people at the airport uh, 10, 12 days ago. Right. It, do you think there'll be any cooperation between the United States and the Taliban where we say, hey, you help us get the rest of the people out there, we'll help you kill ISIS? Have you heard anything like that? Or am I just cooking up a plan right now? <laughs> um, I, I mean, there's talk about it. I don't know whether it's actually going to happen. And I don't think, you know, if you were to ask Secretary of State Blinken if he were sitting here, he'd say, I don't know because I don't know who these guys are going to be. There's all this talk about kinder, gentler Taliban. They, we have frozen billions of dollars in their assets. So we need them to get the Americans out. We certainly want them to help us fight terrorism. They would like money from us. Whether, you know, in a rational world, you can make a deal. Mm -hmm. This is the Taliban. Uh, we have to take a quick break, uh, but stick around. When we come back, I'm going to ask Chris how he feels about his show and shows like his having on people who deny that Biden was duly elected. He's got a good answer. You've got a good answer. <laughs> Thank you.